Hey guys, it's me Hugo. I'm back with another video. As you can see, I'm back in the reaction area um, because today finally we are going to watch another fight of mine. Um, unfortunately, there weren't many fights in the last year because of my uh, surgery, um, but now this was the first time that I could fight, uh, fight again and now we've got Corona so there's no new fights coming this year as well. Unfortunately, but um, that's that. Uh, this fight was in February of this year, I think like uh, middle or end of February. It was my third MMA fight and I think my eighth fight, eighth fight in total. So uh, check this out. So here I'm walking out with my two coaches and one of my teammates that actually fought earlier in the day as well. You saw him in the in the fight day vlog that I made. And now the fight starts. Um, you can see me with the back to, to the camera and uh, obviously my opponent on the other side. Now here's a quick uh, touch of gloves. Just a little feeling out and as soon as I threw the first jab, uh, he came in with the shot and I actually sprawled pretty good but then I moved into his direction and that's why uh, he got back to the leg and he got me down uh, right there at that moment. Right there I'm having like, like a grip with my with my elbow, elbow on his head, so that's why I'm staying pretty chill and composed because I had the feeling of controlling him. Then he slipped out, unfortunately. At that point, I tried standing up. Um, he mounted me because of that, uh, but I could reverse it because uh, my arm was underneath his leg, so I had uh, some leverage to to turn the position around and I end up the top. So now I'm in half guard. Right, uh, at this moment I'm uh, only uh, trying to control his head with my with my forehead. Right there I pushed us uh, away from the cage again because uh, when you're up against the cage you can use the cage uh, to uh, with your feet and uh, to like bridge the other person off. Uh, so that's uh, why I didn't, I didn't want him to do that so that's why I moved us away from the cage. Right there I'm still in half control and now landing the first punches to the body though and when he bridged I actually got mount. Unfortunately, you can't really see our heads right now because this guy uh, has this hand on the on the fence. And at that point, I, I wanted to posture up so that I could land some punches, and then actually like it didn't work out pretty good. But there, I'm rolling in for the heel hook, but not to get the heel, but just to get like back up because that's I feel like always a good a good way of getting up again. Now we're back up. I think right there I threw a knee. Here a little low kick. A one two, but like uh, didn't really find the target. But there I tried a, a T to the head. I don't think he hit me there because otherwise uh, I would have reacted differently. And then. I was over committing with my punches and that's why he could like shoot in again and actually got the takedown again. And that was really bad right there because uh, of the way I stood up. I should have done a technical center but instead I, st I uh, stood up stupidly and he could actually land some punches. There he's back on my, on, my, uh, on the single leg and I'm just defending. And now actually he gets it. But I reverse it uh, because, it, and I end up the top. And uh, really, at that point, I landed some pretty hard punches. Um, 
I was uh, surprised about the power of these punches. But actually, I gassed pretty pretty fast because I couldn't keep keep the same uh, tempo that I had with those punches. I couldn't keep it up for the whole uh, for the whole whole time that I was on top. But then I'm trying to pick my punches a little bit, just like that. That was pretty good, I think. And that's the end of the first round. Now I'm going back to my corner. And I'm just... there my coach is coming in again. So what can we say about the first round? He got me down uh, a couple of times, I think three times he got me down. That was good on his part, so that's uh, going to his uh, scorecards. Um, he had some control time in the first round uh, after the first takedown because he was on top uh, for I would say like a minute or so. Um, then I reversed it though and was on top as well. Uh, then I got the better position with the mount. Um, then he reversed that. Then we were standing. Um, in the stand up, I landed some punches. But when I, uh, the, after the second time when I got up, um, he landed one relatively big punch as well. So uh, I think those even out each, each, each other. Um, then he took me down again, but I feel like the third takedown of, on his part won me the round because I ended up on the mount and landed a series of punches. Um, and I think uh, that's why I gained some, some ground at the end of the first round. And, uh, I Feel, still feel like the first round is uh, pretty close, but I think that won me the first round. Uh, so let's keep going with the second round now. So we start off with the touch of gloves again. I think I just teamed into the body right there. That was actually a pretty nice count of me because he threw the overhand and I just uh, kicked him to the body. That one was a beautiful head kick of mine. Uh, luckily for him, he uh, had both of his hands up and could parry it. That he tried to uh, kick me as well, but I uh, was just out of range. And there he shoots in on the takedown again, and pretty good takedown. Right there, I was uh, attacking the Kimura uh, just to try to break his grip. I actually broke his grip, that's why I could stand up again, but he was like straight uh, right away back on the single. And there he actually had a beautiful single leg where he like dropped me uh, and slapped me on the ground. There I'm attacking the guillotine, but also, I mean like it was out of half guard, so I wouldn't have got it in any, any ways. But I could stand up and land that knee, so that was pretty good. Right there, unfortunately, I didn't hit that punch. That would be, would have been beautiful. But the the high kick and the knee was good. And then he shot in on us. Uh, then he shot in on the single again. And right there, I hurt my knee because I was at this grappling tournament uh, before. And just because of the exposure on the knee, I was really hurt. Right there, I tried to set up a back mount triangle. Um, but then I uh, transi uh, transitioned to just punching him because. First of all, because one of my coaches, uh, coaches told me to punch him, and also I did just didn't feel like I had it. But then he he had this uh, a single leg again and again. But from here on, he's like all uh, he's like holding on to the leg all the, uh, the whole time, and I'm just kind of in a better position because I can punch him. I also control his other arm, um, and right there he still keeps holding on to the, uh, the, the leg that he uh, attacked first and I'm st but I'm just on top and I can land punches so I don't think that that would go to his score uh, that, that would flip the uh, scorecard to his favor I landed a couple of good punches there also I was like um, not only punching with one hand but punching with one hand and then when he knew what was coming punching with the other hand so that was pretty good as well 
unfortunately you can't see that much because uh, of the referee but right there something interesting happened because he was always on the single leg on my left leg and then I reversed it uh, to having a crucifix position so now I'm controlling his left arm and controlling his right arm with my arm uh, and his head is basically free so that was really good of me but at that point I, uh, now his arm was free again and I was like punching uh, underneath while he was uh, turtling so I'm just like uh, on his back punching him and then I actually put the hooks in flatten him out and right there you can't see it unfortunately I'm already under the chin with my with my right arm and then I switched from the one grip to the other grip now this is actually the 10 second marker and right there he tapped so I uh, submitted him with uh, due to rear naked choke in the last 10 seconds of the fight so I think it was a close fight. I think I won the first round though because of the ending and in the second round I think I won that as well even though he got the takedowns. Uh, the striking in the second round was uh, a lot more to my favor and also the positioning in the ground and pound was a lot to my favor and then but anyways I won the fight because I finished him in the last in the last couple of seconds and right there you see me celebrating giving him some, him some respect and uh, actually <laughs> that last shot was my uh, my dad was just like releasing all the stress he had during uh, during the fight so that's a pretty nice moment as well um, so anyways that was my third fight I really liked it because just a lot of the stuff I worked on before with uh, with my coaches especially uh, the one coach w uh, with the red hair, um, who's my head coach uh, for MMA. Just, we worked a lot on, on the wrestling defense, and even though I couldn't really defend the takedowns, at least I ended up in positions that were favorable to me and not to him, except for the first one, but um, all the other takedowns I could reverse uh, right away and end up, end up on top. Um, land punches and in the end uh, also submit submit him so I'm really happy with that I think what I still need to work on though is um, just being more relaxed in the stand-up because I feel like I'm too tense and when, and I, when I'm too tense he sees what's coming and also when I train and when I spar I'm not, not at all that tense and then I find way better shots and all of that so uh, for the future I really need to work on my calmness in the striking department because I feel like if I'm getting more calm in the, stri in the striking then I can really skyrocket my performance in these fights and maybe um, get a get a knockout uh, victory as well in the, in the future will which I will un as a, undoubt undoubtedly so I hope you guys liked the fight uh, I really liked it let me know in the comments what you thought about it um, and See you soon und bis zum nächsten Mal bei Road to UFC.